My name is Waylon Brown, and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Jamil, and he wants to know, what's new with Android Marshmallow? Great question. In Android Marshmallow, also known as Android M or Android 6.0, they're releasing several visual upgrades, as well as many smaller upgrades that are made mostly under the hood that up to one very important update. The key features to this update were officially released at Google's recent Nexus event, starting with Now on Tap. Now on Tap is Google's predictive assistant that allows you to get extra info on anything instantly as it becomes relevant. You simply hold down the home button while inside any app, and Now on Tap reads what is displayed on the screen and returns information on anything that it sees as interesting, such as a calendar event, a place, a location, or anything else that may be on the screen. This not only includes apps such as your internet browser, but also texts and even your Facebook feed. Also, for the first time ever, Android will now see runtime permissions. Instead of accepting 20 different permissions when downloading an app from the Play Store and not knowing when it actually makes use of each of them, the app will ask you for permission when it is needed while you are using it. This will require an update of apps to begin using this feature so that they will know when to request permission and when it is denied and what to do in that case, but it is a huge step in the right direction for permissions with Android. Of course, with the new Nexus 5X and Nexus 6P being announced with fingerprint sensors, you could have guessed that Android M now has fingerprint support baked in for developers to use in their apps. Google announced that many banking apps have partnered with Google to add fingerprint support to their apps, much like Google did with Android Pay. The days of unlocking your phone with the secret code will still be over. One of the last main features announced with Android M is Doze. Doze extends your phone's battery life by monitoring how it is being used throughout the day and changing its activity to most efficiently use your battery. At night, we might not need our phones running full power since we aren't using them, and Doze will detect this and pause apps as they aren't in use. Google claims that Doze has the ability to double your standby time, which is a big deal in terms of smartphone battery life. There are many smaller incremental updates that will come with Android M, and I'd highly recommend checking out the Android developer site to learn more about them. That's it for today's episode, and make sure you tweet any lingering questions you have about Android Marshmallow to hashtag AskAdev or leave them in the comments.